Well, when Jane found out she's responsible for 50 tickets to the charity play, she got busy. In desperation, she ran an ad in the paper advertising $3 tickets for $1.98 and gave the rehearsal hall's phone number. So between answering phone calls and rehearsing the part of the maid, Jane has spent a hectic day in the name of charity. It's evening now at the Ace's bungalow. Jane is at the desk figuring up the day's business. Mr. Race and Marge, who know nothing of the ad, sit nearby. Here. Mm, yes. Multiply ten times one ninety-eight. Yes, Jane, that's very good. What? Here. Oh, uh, what'd you say? Will you please put that paper down? I'm asking you to do something for me. Oh, uh, what was that again? Multiply ten times one ninety-eight. Ten times one ninety-eight. That's nineteen eighty. Correct. Oh, thanks, Jane. Well, I mean, I have it that way, too. I got that same answer. Well, at first, I got two or three different answers. But for about ten minutes now, I've been getting 1980. So I decided... Oh, so you decided it must be right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the majority rule. Yes. Yeah. Now, multiply three times ten. Well, don't tell me you've been getting different answers for that. No, but I want to make sure. What do you get? Uh, three times ten. Uh, let's see. Three times odd is odd. And under... Carrie, uh, don't tell me now. Oh, it's, stop uh, it. It's 30, James. Why all about mathematics? 30, that's right. I'm giving something up here, Mark. Now, dear, here's the hard part. Ready? What is this? All right, shoot. Subtract 1980 from 30. Subtract 19... Oh, you can't. You can't take 1980 from 30. Oh, no, it's not 1980. It's $19.80. Oh, $19.80. Yes. Uh, and what's the 30? $30. Now, subtract $19.80 from $30, see? Oh, yes, $19.80 from 30. That's, uh... Here, take the sample and take No, it. no, I can do it mentally. That would be $10.20. $10.20? Yes. Oh, that's marvelous. Is that all? Are you sure? I think so. Why? What did you get? Oh, I got different answers all together. <laughs> let me see it. <laughs> no, no, it's just a lot of different numbers. Oh, no, let me see it, But Jay. here it's nothing. Oh. I just kept getting different answers all the time, but nothing as low as $10.20. Well, that's not so bad for a day's business. For a what? What do you mean, day's business? I mean profit and loss. What do you know about profit and loss? What are you talking about? Well, profit is the money you make, isn't it? Yes. And loss is the money you don't. The money you don't? <laughs> what on earth are you figuring <laughs> out? It's about those tickets for the play. I only lost $10.20 today, and I'm very glad if you sure Wait, wait right a answer. minute. About, about those tickets. What, what's going on with those tickets? Well, I'm sure you're not going to get stung for all the tickets of three hours apiece, am I? Well, you are unless you sell them. That's right, Mark. So, uh... Them. Oh, fine. How many did you sell, James? I sold ten today. Oh, man. Great. I should say it is. Who did you sell them to? Oh, different people. Well, how'd you do it? Were they hard to sell? Well, not after I thought of this scheme. Oh, well, you're a marvelous... You, uh... uh what, uh... I know I'm going to regret asking this. Uh, what scheme? Well, here's how it is. I was sitting here this morning getting dressed to go to the rehearsal and worrying about these tickets. Well, all of a sudden, I got this idea. It hit me in the face like a flash in the pan. <laughs> what idea, Jeff? About selling the tickets. I said to myself, would I buy a ticket for $3? Not if I couldn't afford it, I said. Well, how much would you pay, I said. Well, certainly not $3, I said. But you would pay less, wouldn't you, I said. That's about the dullest dialogue I think I've ever heard. I enjoyed it. Oh, oh you did. Go uh, on, Jay. Oh, where was I? He keeps interrupting. <laughs> oh, yes, I said, yes, I pay less. I'd certainly buy them if they were on sale. And that's where I got the idea. Why not put on a sale? Mark them down. So no sooner said the better, I rushed to what the phone. What do phone. you mean, put them on a sale? I marked them down. You... Marked them down to what? To a dollar ninety-eight. What? A dollar ninety. Is that what you've been figuring up here? Ten times? You sold ten tickets at a dollar ninety-eight? Yes, that's nineteen dollars and eighty cents. Now take away nineteen eighty from thirty, and what have you got? Apoplexy. Yes. No, you've got a loss of ten dollars oh. and twenty cents. You just told me. Well, is that bad for the first day? I just put the ad in this morning. Ad? ad. What ad? I put an ad in the paper. It came out this afternoon. It said three dollar three dollar tickets for the United Hospital charity play. On sale for a dollar ninety-eight, oh. and I put in the phone number of the rehearsal hall. Well, you should have seen the calls I got. 
I sold ten just like that. That's me on top. And tomorrow, if business keeps up, I'll lose a little more. It's better than losing the whole thing, isn't it? Well, isn't oh, this awful? Oh, well, here I figure out a way to make money by losing a little every day, and he says but it's awful. But, Jane, that's no way to figure it. It's the only way to figure it. Now, you take away $19.80 and 30. Take her away from me, will you? Oh, yes? Take me away from you, and what have you got? $10.20. Oh, no. You'd have $30 to pay for 10 tickets. Now, all we have to pay is $10.20 for 10 tickets. Oh, Jane, how on earth did you think of a scheme like that? I don't know, Marge. I just thought of it. You know how you do sometimes. Well, I never would have thought of that. That's a new one on me. On me, too. But I had to think of something, didn't I? I don't know why. Why? Well, would you want me to get started? I well, somebody, somebody at the door. What? You two will quiet down. There's somebody at the door. Oh, the door. Yes, I'll go down. I just thought I should warn you two. You could be heard for miles around. Well, I... Is Mrs. Ace at home? Yes, she is. I'm Mrs. Burnside. I'd like to speak to her. Oh, come in, Mrs. Burnside. I remember you. You're on the ticket committee of that charity affair. Yes, I am. And I suppose you would like to speak to Mrs. Ace. Oh, hello, Mrs. Burnside. Oh, Mrs. Ace. What do you mean by perpetrating such a hoax as you did today? What? Do you want to make us the laughing stock of the community? I don't think so. Well, you're certainly succeeding. Mr. Ace, was this your idea? My idea? Because I... if it was, I want to assure you that you're not going to get away with it. Well, I didn't have anything to do not with... Not only have all the other workers called me to complain, heaven knows it's difficult enough to sell tickets at $3 a piece without running into cut rate competition, but the directors of the hospital board have been calling me. Wanted to know what's going on here. And I don't blame them, Mrs. Ace. What happened? Mrs. Ace, don't you play dumb with me. I'm not playing. When you came to me last week and complained that you hadn't known you had signed that pledge to sell 50 tickets and be responsible for those you didn't sell, I certainly didn't think you'd stoop to such a low and undignified trick as this. And we demand that you stop it. You want me to stop selling tickets? I mean you're to stop selling at this ridiculous price of $1.98. Do you know that we have workers canvassing the city to sell those tickets at $3? And can you blame them for complaining when you deliberately set about to undersell them? Oh, I never heard of such an outrage. And you're to stop it at uh, once. Now, uh, just a I, minute, Mrs. Burnside. I suspect you had your hand in this. No, Ray. I had nothing of the kind, and I don't care if you believe it or not. But I'd like to know by what right you can come here and insult my wife this way. Yes, what right are you to come here and insult his wife this All way? All right, Jane, you just leave this to me now. What right? You think this is ethical? Well, do you think it's ethical to make all those women pledge themselves to be responsible for 50 tickets and promise them parts in the play and then make maids out of them? Yes, do you think it's ethical? That yes. has nothing to do with it. Mrs. Ace was very lucky to get the part of a maid. All right, we'll skip that. Yes, we'll skip that. I don't see where your committee has any holler coming to show how she sells the tickets. She's going to pay you the full amount. If she's willing to make up the difference from the dollar ninety-eight, oh, well, the dollar ninety-eight. Oh, it's utterly fantastic! It's, it's fa fantastic, or whatever it is, Mrs. A. feels that she wants to sell the tickets that way. Now, what are you going to do about it? It doesn't say anything in that pledge of yours as to how she should sell them, and this is the way she wants to sell them. Well, if you must know, I'd rather she wouldn't sell them at all than to make us the laughing stock of the car. Oh, you'd rather she wouldn't sell them at all? I certainly would. Well, then how about taking back the tickets and clearing her of the responsibility for the 50? Oh, no, no, no. She promised to sell 50 tickets. Okay, then she'll sell 50. She sells them at $1.98. That's up to her. Yes, that's up to me. But, Mr. H., don't you realize what this is doing? I'm sorry, but that's the only way she can get rid of them. Oh, but this has gone further than I told you. Our director, Mr. Hamden, has tendered his resignation if this thing keeps up. Oh, he has. He huh? certainly has. He won't be connected with any cut rate play. And I don't blame well, him. Well, I don't blame him either. Now it's up to you, Mrs. Burnside. Mrs. A will either sell the tickets as she sees fit, or she'll stop selling them if you clear her of the responsibility. Oh, I've never heard of such a well, thing. Well, you're hearing of it now. How about it? Uh, well, Certainly can't have her demoralizing our entire campaign. No, I don't see anything demoralizing about it. It's self-preservation. She didn't know she was practically signing her life away when you pushed that card under her nose and promised her a part in the play. Now she wants to get out of it as cheaply as she can. Oh, you can't blame us for that. Is it a go, Mrs. Burnside? Uh, well, I, well, I'm at a loss for words. Try yes. What else can I say? Good. Jane, uh, get the tickets. You got them there? Yes, they're here. They're on this desk. That's it. Get them and give them to me. Oh, uh, wait just a minute, Mrs. Burnside. We 
like to have that pledge back. No, 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 well, I, I have it here. Oh, you came prepared. I was hoping I could make you see this in the right light. You did. I'll take that. Thank you. Now, this settles this. Here's a ticket, Mrs. Burnside. No, no, wait a minute, Jane. Give them to me. Now, Mrs. Burnside, we're not as tough as we seem to be. We're going to honestly try to sell these tickets, as many of them as we can, at $3 a piece. We'll take the ad out of the paper. But those we can't sell, we are not going to be responsible for. You don't have to try to sell any of them. I'd rather Mrs. H just forgot about the whole thing. Play and all. Forget about the play yes. after all the Oh, no, I no, hear. no, she won't. She stays in the play if you're going to get tough. She stays in the play. If she drops out, we put the ad back in the paper and she starts again. Good, yeah. But, uh, but I never in all Is my... Is it understood, Mrs. Burnside? Uh, yes, perfectly. And I'll be thankful when this affair is over. I'll know better who to deal with after this. Good night. Good night, Mrs. Burnside. Oh, good night. Oh, Jimmy, you were marvelous. Oh, I can just tell you. Well, I wasn't going to let her get away with that. Imagine the nerve of her coming in here like this. Yes, imagine the yeah. nerve. I never did like her, and I always will. Oh, you will. Huh? I knew I'd get even with her in time. Time wounds all heals, and that's all she is. What? A heel. Yes, Jane, I guess she is. Mr. Ace saved the day for Jane on the ticket score. Now it's up to Jane to save her own day at rehearsal. Just how she progresses as maid and understudy we learn when next we meet the Easy Aces.